the GSML step 2 CS case about shortness of breath. How do we approach a case with shortness of breath? First on the history, we ask OPD and then cap square fat O P D cap square and fat O for origin whether it's sudden or gradual P for progression of shortness of breath and D for duration first C stands for COPD chronic obstructive pulmonary disease then congestive cardiac failure and then asthma and aspiration pneumonia or aspiration and then pneumonia and then pulmonary embolism and fibrosis of the lungs anemia and T for tuberculosis now what question do we ask to rule out the COPD we ask about any smoking history any whistling sounds during breathing or any productive cough and what question do we ask to rule out the congestive cardiac failure we ask about the history of hypertension or any recent myocardial infarction orthopnea paroxysmal nocturnal dyspnea and legs swelling and what do we ask to rule out the asthma we ask about any history of allergies any pets at home effect of weather or exercise and to rule out aspiration pneumonia we ask about any episode of loss of consciousness loss of consciousness or difficulty in swallowing or any stroke or alcoholism we also ask about fever and to rule out pneumonia we ask about any similar any contact with similar complaints
similar complaint or similar symptoms again any fever any chest pain especially with breathing what do we ask to our pulmonary embolism we asked about any immobilization about OCP's use any cough swelling or any chest pain and to rule out fibrosis we ask about the occupation any history of chemotherapy or radiotherapy or any dry cough and what do we ask to rule out anemia we ask about bleeding from any side of the body and we also asked about change in skin color it usually gets paler and what do we ask to rule out tuberculosis we asked about last PPD skin test and we asked about any exposure to anyone with tuberculosis We also ask about night sweats, weight loss, or any travel. That's the history. After history of present illness, we ask about other histories in every patient. Those include TAM, HUD, FAS, the mnemonic is P stands for past medical history, A stands for allergic history, M stands for medication history, H stands for any hospitalization, U for any urinary complaints, and G for any gastric history, F for any family history any obstetric history from females, any social history, and any sexual history. And next, we go for the exam, physical examination of the patient. What system do we exam in a patient for shortness of breath? First of all, we go for the general physical examination. And we will examine the hands for any clubbing or any cyanosis. We examine eyes for any pallor. We examine neck. For JVP and carotid brewing. The 
then we examine cardiovascular system and respiratory system. We examine both of them thoroughly. And now we have to discuss about the test which we have to order for shortness of breath patients. We go for pulmonary function tests, chest x-ray, echocardiography, We also order some blood tests like CBC with differentials. And ESR. Then we can go for some specific test like CD chest if needed. We can go for D dimers if you suspect pulmonary embolism as well as we can order Doppler ultrasound of legs that's it